guys welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for always stopping by please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not thank you very much once again may god bless you all if any age for the lead council for the indigenous people of biafra ipob has reacted to a report about a member of the anambra state house of assembly Oke okonye who was recently beheaded by gunmen Konye, the lawmaker representing Aguta II state constituency in Aguta, was adopted last Sunday alongside Cipre, his campaign director. Anambra State Governor Charles Soludo had said during the week that efforts were ongoing to rescue the lawmaker from the adopters. But on Saturday, the lawmaker's head was reportedly displayed at a motor park in Nobi, in the Mili South local government area of the state. Soludo has subsequently offered a reward of 10 million naira to anyone or group with information that can assist security agents to arrest Konye's killers so that they can be brought to justice. Reacting in a statement on Sunday, Ijefor said, The Southeast region is under siege by blood sucking demons. He noted that the IPOB leader Nandekano will be gravely shocked and saddened by the incident, having condemned such brutality in the past. He wrote, Dear Igbos of Goodwill, home and abroad, our land is under siege by blood sucking demons. It is no longer in doubt that the insecurity rocking the Southeast region has taken on entirely troubling dimension and cannot be allowed to continue. Yesterday, being the 21st day of May 2022, I was inundated with most unbelievable news, making rants of the gruesome torture and subsequent beheading of one Mr. Ukechuku Uke and his co-traveler in Anambra State by their adopters. I was totally shattered and in disbelief. I kept making calls until late into the night to ascertain this authenticity and very sadly this has been confirmed as true this is the latest in the spread of mindless and barbaric killings that have been going on in the southeast in recent times we Igbos, have been known for our hospitality love and open door policy to all and sundry we take pride in being industrious by making something out of nothing wherever we find ourselves on the planet earth may i assure you at this point in time that my client onyendo mazin namdikano will be gravely shocked and saddened by this evil art too having previously and severely mandated me in the past to condemn such barbaric art in on his behalf no doubt our enemies have boldly infiltrated our land and now operating unchecked hence there must be an immediate stop to this evil art by these blood-sucking demons currently desecrating our land we therefore call on every well-meaning person living in the southeast to join hands together to provide relevant information that will help to fish out these murderers so that they are publicly dealt with in line with the, dictate, the dictates of the law. It is the collective responsibility of everyone to rise to the challenge. This is not in our culture and certainly not our style. The time is now. There is no doubt whatsoever that criminals are on the rampage. These monsters that kidnapped for ransoms have no connection whatever with the Freedom Fighters movement. They are imposters and hiring whose singular objective is to kill and destroy in a calculated attempt to dehumanize IPOB. Very compelling to mention in this piece too, for the purpose of a well-guided and holistic solution that only a few weeks ago a prominent Anambarian gave a gory account of how he was kidnapped by the monsters. 
he described as Fulani Hesmen, ransom was paid before he was freed. Just a few days back also, an audio according, recording of a call made to a relative of a kidnapped victim in the kidnapper's den right inside Anambra State went viral. The disjointed English accent of the corporate spoke volumes of which divided of the country the kidnappers came from. The public is yet to be informed as to whether these victims are lucky to be freed or ransom of 10 million naira demanded by the monsters or killed as threatened. I therefore strongly condemned in on mistaken terms these evil acts in its entirety uh, and consequently call on security agents and every Anambarian to unite towards defending our land from these monsters, desecrating it. These criminal elements, regardless of their ethnic affiliations, must be crushed. We must free our land from them. The hour is here. My heart indeed bleeds. We must secure our region and reclaim our identity, which our forefathers toyed, to, toyed so hard to build for us. Enough is enough. We must all join hands together to ensure that peace and order is restored to the southeast region as a matter of urgency. May God deliver our land, he said. Hmm. Honestly, there is fire on the, on the mountain in the southeast. This will not be joko. Honestly, this one not be joke. The southeasterners, they are not known to be this, you know, violent. It's not in their character, just like what he said. In their culture, they don't kill. These people are, you know, uh, homely people who receive visitors and all that. You know, all this news of being and the art of beheading people and all that killing, you know, it's not in the characters of the Southeastern as well. So, Indigo should quickly, urgently find out those who are behind all this killing in the Southeast. This is not just a matter of anything that happens, IPOP members and all that. That one, not being the discount, you know. Make one find out those who are behind all these killings in the Southeast. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.